All right, so I'm gonna blow your mind with some cool menu bar tricks. So uh, up here in the upper right-hand corner, you have this two little lines here. This is what's called control center. Um, these are some commonly used controls. They should look similar to the control center on your iPad or your phone possibly when you swipe down from the upper right-hand corner. Um, but uh, you'll notice screen mirroring has been moved. It doesn't show up in here by default. It is now over here. But there's a cool trick. Any one of these that you want to be in your menu bar, all I have to do is click and hold down the mouse and drag over here in the menu bar and I can put it anywhere I want. So if I want screen mirroring to be in here or I don't wanna to have to go into this button every single time, um, I can do that and now I can click to get to my AirPlay TVs and without having to go into here and click on it every single time. Um, I could do the same thing with sound. So I could simply click, hold down the mouse, drag that up here, and now my sound settings are up here. Um, I could add things like AirDrop, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi is already up there, but maybe I want my AirDrop settings to be up there. You can drag these and they will all show up in your menu bar, um, just like that. And now anytime I need to do one of these things, I can simply click on them and they're gonna be there. To control the notifications, I can literally either click on things like Bluetooth to turn it off and on or AirDrop to turn it off and on, or if I click on the words or the arrow, this will actually take me to that preference and gives me those settings to be able to control that. Um, another thing you may want to consider here is there's an option here for do not disturb, which also came over from the iPad. And when I click on this, it now gives me the ability to turn on do not disturb for a certain amount of time. So I can say, hey, um, don't give me any notifications or preferences until this evening, and then I'm going to be good to go all day long, or don't do anything for the next hour, or so on. Uh, or if I wanted to be able to tweak notifications, I can go into my notification preferences, and I can actually schedule it and say, hey, don't disturb me from this time to this time, and actually set a schedule that you won't get pop-up messages or anything like that until a certain period of time, um, if you choose to do that. Just a couple cool tricks on the notifications.